likes it, the better. You reckless young idiot. Oh, um, Superintendent, thanks for that young business. Conquest, Mr. Reynolds. Beautiful girl wanted for murder. Foreign crooks in hotel drama. Norman Conquest arrested. Mr. Breakfast Pierre is ready, ready, Mr. Feather. I'd have to do without breakfast this morning, Mrs. Pottle. Oh, but you must have some breakfast, sir. I must go to London. A consignment of orchids has gone astray from Brazil. I must leave immediately. <laughs> to contact each other. These speak for themselves. What happened to my message? What message? What's this to do with me? Yesterday, I sent you a message in the usual way, telling you where and when to collect a certain package. You and your pigeon post. I always did think that. You're not paid to think. In your own interest, I suggest you adopt a different attitude to the problem confronting us. Especially if you wish to secure your own future. You're paid to look after that stuff upstairs. You'll have no reason to complain as soon as this job is over. And don't forget, Mr. Shell isn't likely to appreciate the attentions of conquest. That's the worst of working for gents. You leave it to me. I'll take care of Mr. Conquest. That will not be necessary. We must get that package back before Mr. Shell leaves tonight, but we don't want any trouble of that sort. Trapped. They search for us. Our secret police and now Scotland Yard. How long can we remain undiscovered? Already we are lost. And she sinks. You take notice of all that printed nonsense. They are groping helplessly. Oh, they would have been here long before now. Here we are safe. What are you doing in there, Nadina? Preparing to go out. To go out? With all the London police looking for you? Here in the papers, your photograph. The first policeman you meet. Look at me. Do you think they recognize me? Well, perhaps not. Unfortunately, you must be idle for a while. But I've got a lot to do. And this conquest seems to be quite famous. Quite a reputation. He puzzles me. Now, why was he in that room? And why did they say obtain the valuable package from me when it is true? Ah, it's of no importance. Oh, but you're wrong. I'm going to find out how this Mr. Conquest is involved. I must know. And Boris, in case anything went wrong, I leave them with you. But, Nadina. I only said, in case anything went wrong. Why are you staring at me like that? Am I so different with short hair? Yes. And a better citizen.
45 Hayfield Terrace. What are you doing? This is my taxi. Take this to Scotland Yard, there would have been a reward for it. Oh, okay. Thanks, Dora. Yes, sir. Mr. Nolan Conquest. What name, sir? Smith. Mr. John Smith. Mandy. See who that is, Will. Mr. Conquest's apartment? Well, there's a Mr. John Smith to see Mr. Conquest. Just one moment. Here, there's a bloke called John Smith to see you, Gav. Who? Mr. John Smith. Uh-huh. Mandy, this is it. Have him sent right up. There's nothing I like better than to meet any of the uh, ubiquitous Smiths. Send Mr. Ubiquitous Smith up, please. The lift mark private, sir. Uh, just press the button. Conquest? Yes. How nice to see you, Mr. Smith. What can I do for you? My business is confidential. Oh, uh, Mandy, go and do something useful, will you? Won't you sit down? Thank you, no. I apologize for this bluntness, Mr. Conquest, but last night at the Park Plaza Hotel, you came into possession of a package to which you have no right. A package? And if I did? I must ask you to return it to me, please. Uh, why should I? Assuming, of course, that I have it. Threats are distasteful to me, Mr. Conquest, but I am very anxious to have that package back. <coughs> Tell me... Excuse me. Hello? Mrs. Conquest. Oh, I don't know what the whole business is about, Governor, but uh, I just dropped a young lady in a gent at... Uh... 45 Hayfield Terrace. Oh, that's wonderful news. Is everything all right? What is it, a boy or a girl? What's it? No, I said a girl, and it. And now, not a nursing home, a private house. Fine. When your price and conquest court come in and uh, pick up a box of cigars. Okay, fine. <coughs> Funny how a father always wants a daughter and uh, a mother a son. Now, um, where were we, Mr. Smith? 
I was saying that threats are distasteful to me, Mr. Conquest, but I must insist that you give me that package. As you're so concerned about it, perhaps you'd be good enough to tell me what's in it. I see you intend to leave me no option. Where is your fiancée? Wild shopping. I regret to say that she is not. Oh. Uh, then where is she? That I do not intend to tell you. But I assure you she will come to no harm so long as you are sensible. Sensible? Oh, but I'm never sensible. Hey, Mandy. Fancy thinking you could get away with a corny trick like that. Don't be a fool, Conquest. What good will it do you? You don't know where your fiancé is. Maybe not. But I intend trying 45 Heathview Terrace. Yes, John? Gov? Uh, sir, I mean? Lock him up. I'll be back later. And remember, no violence. Come on. It was something phony about that, John Smith. say you choose the oddest shopping companions. And not even a blonde at that. What was it you said to me about having fun and games? What have you been doing? Oh. So you won't talk, huh? What's all that noise about? Oh, you heard? Oh, let me see. Oh, serious, very serious. Now, Signorina Pixie, the brunette from Cuba, to what do you attribute your present condition? Uh, uh, I'll tell you. You always want to go out on these capers with me, and you see what happens? You know, I believe the only way I can keep you safe is to leave you just like that. Uh, oh, well, I won't let you be lonely. I'll bring your boyfriend to you. Excuse me. for a while. Now, tell me, who's the boss of this outfit? Oh, it's no use asking him questions. He's practically dumb. What do you mean, practically? He is completely. There's one thing about being with you, Norman. Life is full of good, clean, wholesome fun. That's right, sweetheart. the girl smuggled into the country is some kind of document. Oh, no, sweetheart. Mandy, bring in Mr. Smith. This game's money, big money, and the package that blonde has contains something very valuable. These foreigners are small-time crooks working under orders. Reynolds and the man who called this afternoon are the English end. By concentrating on them, we'll find out who's at the top. I don't think you'll get anywhere, Norman. If I were you, I'd let the whole thing drop. <laughs> Mr. John Smith, sir. And here she is, back again. 